Hello everybody, welcome to another Zabbix video. This time I will talk about ICMP ping monitoring, uh, which is used like when we care about availability, if device really is online and that's a very high priority. Uh, it's good value actually for the, like in, in terms of database size, if that's the goal, like just checking if your server is online, like pingable uh, at the network level or the web camera is pingable or the network printer is pingable. Uh, it's, it's a good value. Uh, there are some interesting side effects because uh, Zabbix is uh, flexible, uh, like uh, it can do deep server monitoring, it can do deep uh, network equipment monitoring and I would call it like that's a little bit higher priority than simple ping. And when we, the goal is just to ping equipment, there are some like one small side effect and I will talk about that side effect and how to make it just a little bit better. And uh, the story is so the story is about uh, like l let's let's create a host object at first uh, and it will start here data collection hosts like create object and officially when we decide to do the ping uh, what how we do like we know the IP address and um, based on the like documents how we, we how we should do it we should like enter the IP address over here and um, here comes like the first problem like you are looking forward just to do the ping but the documentation demands to create at least one interface it does not matter which one but it demands for the sake of flexibility for the sake of templating you you want to have like convenience to manage the template it, it demands let, like we, we have to create the interface and once the interface is, is done, like we can use the template ICMP and uh, this template is clever enough. It will pick up like the IP address. It will be used as an argument like the template is designed to ping something and it needs to know like what exactly to ping and you tell here in, in a very random interface like what exactly to ping IP address or DNS name. Uh, but it, it, it already creates a confusion. It's agent interface. And if we look at the, the Zabbix UI uh, in a, uh, like in a, like in a sense that every bit would, would make, needs to make sense, then this is like already like uh, falling apart. Like we want to ping, but we create agent interface. Uh, okay, let's do it uh, for real. Like I will ping a real equipment, uh, add and like uh, available, availability check, add and the host is ready. And to see like the data uh, coming in, let's use uh, like this. Uh, and we, re we see like the items are there and they will like uh, start to report the data if I check the ping and here on the bottom there is a button latest data and voila like 16 seconds ago uh, it reported back like device is healthy device is uh, up and, and running if I check all the data I see I also see the uh, response time like it's great like the ping is working and when this server will go down like it will give the value tell the device is offline and everything where, where's the where's the problem from uh, my point of view? Uh, it's problem in the dashboarding. Uh, there is this uh, host availability widget which is showing like unknown, like something is unknown. And sometimes in in a company like management wants to seek for problems as fast as possible. They they don't want to go in detail like what's not available. They just see the number r red like red is bad. Uh, we can sort that out like something is really down but unknown it's like something mysterious and um, this unknown came um, because I, I made that host actually it's at the moment it's maybe not so believable maybe let's uh, disable that very host to prove my point cancel home 
like disable update if i go back here and refresh the, refresh the page like unknown is zero and um, yeah if we set it back like just my my pingable host uh, now uh, it is starting to report one so the whole story is i just wanted to ping the server or device and this word unknown it does not it, it's not pleasant like to see for the management why something is unknown because i wanted to ping equipment and there is actually quite short workaround like or, or with a very sh uh, short path and it's like we can edit official template this is the official template and uh, i will just uh, clone it and call it modification and maybe add to my collection click add and now like we have official one and we have another one and what we can do here is we can edit the item key and uh, set different argument like by default it reads host interface and there are fancy built-in macros which can help uh, so i will edit every field and in the square brackets put for example host dot host which is actually the host name uh, copy this guy copy update and actually like edit all the uh, other ones enter and the icmpp loss okay and wh what we can do right now is we can uh, edit our uh, host object uh, this is the host object currently like we see it is um, like it's impossible to remove interface because the template is using and uh, the how the template is using the item keys are kind of referencing back to the host interface and picking up that ip address that argument that like dns name uh, right now we can uh, like uh, unlink the template i will like do unlink and clear update uh, all the items go away and i can also remove this interface uh, remove and i will link my other template icmp uh, mod modification and uh, i made that macro like host that host uh, it's a built-in macro which is actually like falling back to this uh, field like this uh, host name this is the field it can now read instead of the interface field so that's completely alternative way and if we want to keep the name uh, what i can do is uh, like move the host name to the visible name so it's called home and put here the ip address 192.164.88 and 56 so now instead of interface it will read the host name and we will kind of uh, advance from uh, take advantage of this visible name update and we still see like nothing has changed here home let's observe if it's even working uh, by visiting here icmp ping and going here latest data and uh, eventually it should uh, start to come okay uh, while well, it's coming like visiting the dashboard so it's unknown if i refresh the dashboard click so now it's much much better like it, no questions like uh, like no mystery what's unknown and and it's it lo wo wo looks good and inside the latest data click and voila it's able to still ping something if we double check like the um, details of item key so it, it is obviously saying like I'm pinging the the interface like the IP address, but uh, obviously the technical implementation here is if we open the host properties, the IP address is not anymore inside the real interface, and we, we store it in in a different field, which also is um, like able to be forwarded to that item, and um, yeah, now the interface like I, I mean the summary for the management they will be uh, much uh, happier like no questions like why it is something like some mystery here which is practically almost like with the default templates it's impossible to solve uh if the ping monitor is a high priority it, it, there is no like you, you have to 
edit the template and uh, clone and uh, create a different uh, way how to approach this thing. Okay, uh, that is everything for this. If you find it useful, practical, give it a thumbs up and thanks for watching.